Um, okay, you guys clearly asked for it, and guess what? I am here for it. So today we are doing a deep dive on the pen tool and every possible way of using it. So let's jump right in. Let's start with the path animation. It can be super useful to create your custom backgrounds, apply some highlights for your text, or even create some visual effects, if you're into it. Let's go to our toolbar, click on the drawing tools, a rectangle, and make a box in your monitor by simply clicking and dragging. Double click on it and go to its settings, smooth the corners, adjust the opacity, and change the field to your liking. Then go to the same drawing tool icon and select a pen tool. On the screen, simply outline the line matching the border of your box. And to smooth the line on the edges, simply click, hold, and drag. Once you finish your outline, type C to stop drawing. For this particular instance, I like to use the dual neon. Set your end core intensity to about 50%, glow intensity to 30%, and make sure your trim path starts at zero and the end at 99%. Then go to the beginning of your clip, set a keyframe on the offset and bring it all the way back. After, scroll until the end of the clip and bring the offset all the way up. If you notice that your line looks kind of funky, go back to the pen tool settings and set the element spacing to 25%. And just look at that, butter for my soul. Then you can compound all that business, animate it, do whatever you want. Speaking of compound clips, someone said that you cannot ease the animation for the trim path, which is kind of true. If you hate problem solving, uh... It is currently true, you cannot do it yet, but you can compound the clip, go to speed ramping, and ease all the animations you need. Custom shapes. I've been low-key abusing this one lately, but it's super useful when you want to highlight an existing shape or to create a shape from the scratch. For example, let's make the cursor. Right-click on the program monitor and select Show Rulers. Drag one vertical line in the middle and one more on each side of it with equal distance. Start on the top of the middle line, then click here, slightly above here, and find the same point as your first bottom corner. Filmora will show you blue line once you reach it. Then connect it all together, and here you go! That was literally the hardest part. Then in the pen tool settings, you can select the color of your fill. I also like to reduce the opacity and select the stroke effect. I like the neon one for this example. Then we can adjust the anchor point and rotate it a little bit so it looks like a cursor. After that, scale it down a little bit, then bring it outside of the frame and set a keyframe on the position. Scroll a little bit, bring it to our title, and then to simulate the click, I'm going to set a keyframe on the scale, scroll to frames forward and scale it down a little bit. Then scroll to frames more and scale it back up. Excuse me, uh, can we just pause for a sec and appreciate this professional motion designer? Wow, right? Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, yes. Along the path animation. Okay, this one is super useful if you want to animate the object along a particular path. It can be smooth or it can be like a rigid, like a, like a ricochet. So let me walk you through. In our example, after the click, we have an object popping out and going around the text. To make it, let's select our pen tool and draw the path we want. After that, let's go to the pen tool settings and reduce the opacity to zero, so we don't see the path itself. Then in the Dream Path settings, we can select any object from the timeline or one of the presets. I really like the circle preset, so let's go with that. Click on Link, and now the circle is attached to the end of your path animation. Set a keyframe on the end path and reduce it to zero. Then scroll until you want the animation to end and set the path to the max. Move it to the next. Then scroll a few frames back and double click on your circle. Set a keyframe on scale, scroll a little bit, and scale the circle up until it fills up the frame. Add your text, position it the way you like it, and you can even choose an animation preset if you go to the animation tab. I like the blur in for this instance. And at the end, that's what we have. Uh, honestly, if you made it until the end of the video, officially, I am proud of you. Like, it was somewhat a complex tutorial and you made through it, so... Someone hired this guy! I know, right? Yes! If you still have any questions, please drop them in the comments below and we will make sure to answer all of them. If you enjoyed the video, please smash that like and subscribe button so we know that we are going into the right direction. And if you still haven't been in Old Filmora, uh, <clears throat> what are we doing here? Do it right now! It's actually super easy to use, so you will love it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.